Welcome to ADNet Technology video over fiber presentation. In this presentation, in short, we will review the most of the benefits what you can get by using the video over fiber technology from ADNet Taiwan. Here you can see the most of the models we have. So we have the channel multiplexers from 1 to 16, 64 channels. So we are starting with the most small one which have only one channel and we are ending with a 64 video over fiber multiplexer which gives you absolute flexibility to send as much video channels over the fiber as much you need. But uh, you should know that using the video over fiber products you can make intelligent transportation systems, high speedway video monitoring and control systems, toll monitoring, closed circuit TVs industry monitoring and control, TV program switching channel transmit, high fidelity video conference system and, and the most and the most common application of the units are what the security monitoring and the control system. So actually you should know that the standard of the video signal which is sent over the fiber are just industry standard and you can be sure that all the units what you get you can use at any application but it's just limited for your fantasy not only video because the units are absolutely suited for any application you are making in your industrial or control so if you can see that here is your fiber you can make the cameras as we can say already you can have them from 1 to 64 cameras over the same fiber then you can attach audio or it's a broadcast or it's audio conferencing system that's up to you we can quote you any system then you can connect the phone so you can get the any remote phone access and that's absolutely standard regular phone access and you can get the PC Ethernet for it let's look, so, let's look at some of the most uh, common applications here you can see there is the most standard application where is ANDV 2000 units so that's two cameras over the fiber and then you can see at the remote side the two monitors so here you can see that the most standard application and the most standards for the video so you can see we have a PAL NTSC and a SECAM signal and the video connector are the PNC audio signal transmission scenario so you can send or single direction sound or you can send the bidirectional sound so you can see here we see the, the application where is the camera audio and the video are sent over the same multi-mode cable you can choose the single mode you can choose multi-mode there is any choice of the fiber cables and distances available audio interface specifications are here actually you can check on our website so if you cannot write it down now over this slide you can check it always at our website at www.adnet.com.taiwan so the data interface is like the uh, asynchronous data RS232 or any other asynchronous data you can you can get any async interface you ask is usually used for the lens focusing and rotation and zoom of the camera so that's called PTZ control so together with the video you can get this signal as well so async interface parameters are also standard another application which you may need to send together with the video where the fiber are Ethernet so you can see together with the video audio or RS data you can send also the Ethernet so you can you can connect some remote LAN or remote the PC over the same fiber Ethernet port channel are just standard and you can connect it or to switch or you can connect it to any PC emergency backup phone line feature or you just can make it remotely so you can connect FXS at the user side and, the, and at the PBX side you can have or FXS or you can have FXO interface connect directly to your PBX FXS FXO backup lines parameters again are absolutely industry standards and the last, you can see here several slides which you actually can find on our website on the, on the scenarios. Just check the video or fiber uh, menu, you will see the common scenarios. So you can see the road monitoring which is then sent directly to the ANCH7 concentrator chassis. And you can see the hydroelectrostation plant monitoring which where is the installed, the, the cameras 
actually the front end server so again in this case the video signal is sent over the together with the with the ethernet to the concentrator chassis and in the center and you can see forest area fire protection monitoring where it was installed the broadcast audio and the smoke detector which works over RS202 interface and the road monitoring in a chain solution this is a short introduction for the a for the video over fiber unit so if you need more information just go to our website and fill out the support form thank you for your listening